love to me, special delivery. Hi, today is the ascension of the Lord. It is natural for something to return to the place of its origin. Therefore, Christ gathers his apostles about him and ascends to his heavenly throne. He ascends from Mount Olivet in Jerusalem, not from Galilee, but from Jerusalem, the very place where he had suffered. The ascension of the Lord is not a form of space travel. It is rather an exhortation. It is like the high priest of the Old Testament entering into the sanctuary beyond the veil, beyond the curtain, into the Holy of Holies. We profess in the creed that Christ ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. What does it mean to be seated? It doesn't mean passivity. When it was said in the book of Genesis that God rested after creation, it never meant that his creative arm was weary or that he was tired or fatigued. In the same fashion, Christ now sits not to recuperate, but because his work is done. Now, all the types and figures and symbols and gestures of the Old Testament is fulfilled. And that is why he said it is finished. His work of justice is finished, but his work of mercy continues. And remember that Christ is not just seated, but he is seated at the right hand of the Father. What does the expression right hand mean? It means power. It never meant anything physical nearness, but power he is now sharing in the glory of the Father. Now that he is seated there at the right hand of the Father, what does he do? Intercession and mediation. Because he is a high priest who is able to intercede for us. Because he had run the courts, the gamut of the human story, and he is able to intercede for us. No Plato said in the Republic that it is good for the doctor to become sick so that he can appreciate the sickness of others, but that the lawyer or the judge should not commit crimes to know what crimes are, since they already do. So every mystery of faith is meant to teach us something, and the ascension is no exception. So Christ is now, today, taking our human nature into heaven. Remember, Christ took our human nature not just to atone for our sins, but to bring us into perfect union with the Father. He came to our world with only divinity. Give me all I need. You've given your love to me. Well, you've given your love.